I got this old wooden stand from my brother a few years ago. This kind of thing would probably be used to hold cookbooks, but I use it to display whatever album is currently on my turntable. I like the simple, stocky construction, and the fact that the angle is adjustable, so I'm going to try to make a copy of it. To get the stand started, I'll saw this red oak 1x2 into 5 pieces to make a frame. The horizontal pieces don't need to be too exact, since any overhanging material can be removed later, but the three vertical pieces do need to be pretty precise. So don't be fooled by the editing. It took a long time to make three that were very close to being identical. I cut two more lengths that will be used to adjust the stand to different angles. I'm going to call these two parts the support and the base. Then one of the frame pieces from earlier gets cut in half. These smaller pieces will hold the steel rod that the support swivels on. To make that assembly, I'll drill an eighth inch hole halfway into the two smaller pieces. The support gets a 9 64ths hole all the way through. This will allow an eighth inch steel rod to fit securely in the end pieces, but the support will still be able to swing freely. With the holes drilled, I'll cut the bottom end of the support at a 45 degree angle, and round off the top end. I'm going to do some sanding now, and soften the edges of a few pieces. It will be a lot easier to do this now before everything is assembled. Then I'll cut this eighth inch steel rod to length and start putting things together. A strap clamp makes the job pretty easy. This is all just basic butt joints, but of course you could go as fancy as you want with the joinery. There are a couple small gaps, so to fill everything in, I mash in some glue and some dust I saved from the recent sanding. While that dries, I can work on the base. I need to make some slots, and I decided the easiest way to do that is to just drill them out. I'll be positioning the drill bit so only half of it cuts into the piece, which will give me open slots along one side. To prevent tear out, I'm taping a scrap to the workpiece. And just like that, three nice, even slots. Well, when I was removing the tape, a big chunk splintered off of the end here. But nothing a little wood glue and oak dust can't fix. Okay, now the base gets an eighth inch hole drilled through one end, and then that end gets partially rounded over. Then I'll cut out a section from that end to fit the piece I'm calling the hinge. The first two straight cuts are made with a dazuki saw, then I can make the cross cut with a coping saw, and I even it up with a chisel. Now I need to make the hinge. 
is just a small bit of wood shaped like a pizza slice that will hold the base to the frame and allow it to move freely. And that gets a 964th hole drilled through it. For all you sanding fans out there, this one's for you. I sand to 220, spending most of my time making sure all the joints are flush. Spots with significant overhang get some saw or chisel work first. All the edges and corners get slightly rounded off as well. Then the hinge can be glued to the frame, and the squeeze out gets cleaned up. The last thing this stand needs is the shelf to hold whatever it is you're putting on it. For that, I'm going to use some quarter inch oak. I cut it to length and then make a rip cut down the center. I draw the rounded front corners with a compass, and then saw them off. Finally, I cut out three small triangles to serve as little shelf brackets. The shelf and brackets get sanded and glued to the frame. I rub in some more sanding dust along the top seam to conceal any gaps. Once the glue is dry, I clean up the squeeze out with a chisel and sand it smooth. Then the stand is ready for some oil. I rub on a flaxseed oil finish, let it soak in, then buff off the excess. Now I'll take another short length of steel rod and tap it in to attach the base to the hinge. And the stand is done. I really like how it turned out. It's very simple, but I think it has a well-balanced appearance. The little brackets under the shelf really add a lot to the overall look. And it's functional, whether it's being used for a cookbook, some music, or records. Thanks for watching.